Okay, folks, we're about to pick up with part two here in a second. But like I was saying with the whole earthquake thing, we know where all the where all the major fault lines are. So you know, all it takes is a matter of injecting enough energy into the source. I mean, I really hope they wouldn't be stupid enough to do that because, um, well, you know, whether you set a nuclear bomb off there, you know, a hundred billion volts of uh, high voltage electricity, then you know. There's unforeseen consequences. I mean, you never know what could happen. So, um, uh, the bad thing is, I think they would do that because they don't care about us and they would kill us. But I don't think they'd be that reckless about it because, like I said, there's unforeseen consequences. And um, it's just not, I don't think they'd risk it. Coming up, if ARP is capable of controlling the weather, what else can it control? It's a human destruction device. But it's on a biblical scale, on a global scale. Fruity and there, the biblical, huh? Conspiracy Files. Welcome back to the world of conspiracy. This is Unsealed Conspiracy Files. Some experts say that Project Heart in Gakona, Alaska, is a dangerous U.S. government operation that can control the weather. But many Americans feel that weather control <clears throat> is just a tiny part of the damage ARP can do. Unsealed case file. Radio wave warfare. So the pattern regarding how radio waves can affect communications devices. Thank you. All right, if you want to go ahead and read this, I'll give you a chance to pause it. Interfere with communications devices, interfere with the ability of guided missiles to communicate. What if we could use... Again, go ahead and pause your video real quick if you want to read this. To turn the missiles around, so the very close missiles that an enemy might launch at us suddenly turn around and fly back at the enemy. Can we do this? If I look no. at some of the specific call-outs here, this one Don't here says an invention that provides the ability to put on... Again, go ahead and pause it if you want to read. ...precedent amounts of power into the Earth's atmosphere at strategic locations. It's right here in the pack. You can open up holes in the atmosphere in such a way now, did you hear that? Open up holes in the atmosphere, kind of like the gigantic ozone hole that we caused with chlorofluorocarbons. Now, I don't buy global warming, but that's going to tie into my theory here soon. That you charge the enemy with legal... Oh, I forgot to pause it. If you wanted to read that, sorry. Oh, look there, it gives it away. Vast amounts of sunlight solar radiation but you can also literally fly your enemy there you go and imagine how terrifying that would be even more chilling harp is only one of several such transmitters around the world arecibo puerto rico and that's exactly why i don't think they just fire this thing up all the time i mean if they ripped if they did rip a hole in the ionosphere oh man i don't how do you fix that i mean they can't be that stupid. There's no way in hell they would be. That would the Earth would be finished. That we'd be we'd turn into Mars if a, a big enough hole in our ionosphere happened. Then there'd be nothing to deflect all the solar wind. It, the solar wind would just strip away our atmosphere slowly and slowly, and then we'd turn into Mars, and there'd be nothing left. The so, Russia, Tromso, Norway. These arrays all have the capability of heating the ionosphere with mega beams of radiation. I think no matter what explanation you give for HARP, there's going to be dangers to the research that they're conducting. Could HARP literally burn a hole in Earth's atmosphere? Imagine the awesome power of an enemy ripping open the ionosphere over New York City and all these happy people bouncing along from four to party. Look at the background graphics. Like I said, that looked like an ozone hole to me, and now they're showing the sunlight coming in. I think this is one of them subtle clues, kind of. If they're close Starbucks in the morning, we will be trying to break these 
at an estimated cost of a quarter billion dollars. Harp allegedly uses inconceivable amounts of energy when operating at full power, and its effects could be felt over an entire hemisphere. In recent years, mysterious cloud formations have been peering in the sky with alarming frequency. A lot of conspiracy thoughts have said that the whole concept of trails of chemicals spread in a tile in the upper atmosphere are, are, are harmful. They're being used to focus radio. Unfortunately, that's not true either. Every time there's a flare, that's when the chemtrails are heaviest. And Researchers have become suspicious that the contrails expelled from today's jets are thicker than in the past. Some believe it's all part of the mechanism of weather warfare. Our government claims that chemtrails. What we are spreading are basically oxides, metallic oxides in the atmosphere, but it's from research things. Now, what do metallic oxides do? Reflect and absorb. They don't. You'd have to have, oh man, never mind, I lost my train of thought. Damaging. Scientists think these chemtrails may contain substances designed to alter the upper atmosphere. The goal? To make HARP even more effective at bouncing dangerous levels of radiation off the ionosphere. Or bouncing it back to the sun. Oh, genius. And what if the target isn't a country, but just one person? Some experts think that hidden in those rays could be a message. Basically, all the way back in 1994, the Air Force conducted an experiment using radio to try to put thoughts into the brains of test subjects. Could sound waves implant certain kinds of emotions into test subjects? Is there real science behind this, or is this a tin hat food? Well, the answer is there is real science behind it. The Air Force denies any such program exists. Listen, there is, but like I said, they can't do it with some radar gun like BAM, do this. No, no, no. If you go ahead and put one of them stupid microchips in your brain, then they can override it and then they can control you. That's why this transhumanism shit stuff is so dangerous. Don't buy that mind control gun crap, man. That's that reptilian stuff. It's impossible. But if you have a chip in your brain, then of course that chip can override the electrical impulses your brain sends. It's bad news, trust me. Alright, if you want to read this patent, never mind, that's all there is. It's an electromagnetic device. Thoughts, what we call thoughts, ideas, visions, all move around our brain, inside our brain, by electrons. If you can interfere with those electrons in certain ways, what do you create? Panic. You create light. And it wouldn't be the first time the military has dabbled in experiments with mind control. Documents unearthed in 1977 revealed a CIA mind control research. Look at this. Three conspiracies in one. Chemtrails, mind control, and harp. Now, MK Ultra is definitely possible. If you do electroshock therapy, they're putting um, them little suction cup things on your head, and it's like a direct battery hookup, man, so of course. Project but they can't just beam MK it at you. Ultra. Although it seems a little bit far fetched, if you look at the past, the CIA launched a program that has been known as MK Ultra that was aimed to control the human mind. So, if they've done it before, who's to say they're not doing it now? Coming up, the shocking report which blows the lid off the government's plans for a future full of weather control. Unsealed. Conspiracy Files. Welcome back to the world of conspiracy. This is Unsealed. Conspiracy Files. The time to act is now. There are three simple steps you can take to unseal the truth. You shouldn't have. The government's known about it all along. Why has nobody told us? Upload stories and pictures to our in the dark. Get involved in the fight to unseal the truth. Now. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Bigger than 26 football fields. Costing one quarter of a billion dollars including an array of 180 antennas. Is the government's top secret military weapon hiding in plain sight 
with the goal of controlling the world's weather. The military says they have no such plan for ARC. The paper trail surprise. According to the report, the ability to generate precipitation, fog, and storms on Earth or to modify space weather and the production of... See how they always focus on the dang space weather, man? It's them subtle clues. Artificial weather. All are a part of an integrated set of military technologies. The future of warfare may not right. be bombs or bullets. I don't want to listen to the end of this, but um, I've changed my opinion on Harp several times. At first I thought you couldn't do any of that. I didn't even think modification was possible, but that's just, I guess that was fear. Because, um, unfortunately it is, if you think about it. Like I said, but all they got is the energy source. They got to have, you know, the right weather patterns to begin with. Because they can't just create it out of thin air by spraying metallic oxides in the outdoor atmosphere. That doesn't make any sense at all. But anyway, I hope you learned something. And most of all, I hope you investigate this for yourself and see what you think about it. Because, uh... That's the only way you get to the real truth. This will flood it with half-truths, so... I mean, the government ain't gonna tell you, and neither are the conspiracy theorists, because most of them aren't, you know, they're... It's hard to say, but most of them are just paranoid about everything, and they just don't think clearly and investigate it. They just, oh, the government did it, the government did it. And I mean, I don't know, you gotta... It's definitely worth investigating everything. So, anyways, again, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope they don't take this video down. And, um, that's about it. So, I hope you learned something.